with it, eh? I thought I'd come outside for a minute. It's like I haven't seen the sunlight all day. It's like too bright, too bright. Actually, it's really nice out here. Um, I think it's like 48 degrees. A little bit of wind, not too bad. I know it's a lot colder and some of yous, but yous, some of yous vlogs I'm watching. Like minus three and all that and snow. We don't really get all that here in North Carolina. But uh it's it's a little chilly. I not dressed properly really to be out here, but I was like, I need some fresh air on this vlog miss day number sixteen. I'm remembering now. <sighs> Somewhat. Pretty tired, not much going on. Uh I th I feel like I've saying that every day. Not much going on today. Uh, I mean, really, there's a whole lot going on, but not really so much this day. Most days it's just work, work, work um, until the weekend. But this season, I have been helping out at the theater. I have been singing and performing at for about three or four years now, and I've um, been cleaning there on Friday and Saturday nights just to help them out, and it helps me out too, clearly. But uh, helps them out to get them show ready for the next days. And uh, but tonight is the last night, and I'm sounding really nasally again. I need to probably medicate myself and probably not be out here in the, the chilly briskness that I'm feeling today. But anywho, ramble, ramble, get off subject. <laughs> That's the whole reason ladies like us vlog, right? And guys, to leave the guys out. Uh, so we can ramble to somebody and go on and on and on. But, uh, yeah, tonight's the last night of that. And, uh, then I have something cool where I'm going tomorrow night that I'm going to take you along with me. And Monday, Christmas shopping, finally. Yes, I felt a little Jesus when I said that. Because I just, I just like that part. I love giving. I love being able to give to the ones I love and to the ones I don't love as much, too. No. <laughs> but um, I haven't got to do that since I've been so busy working and doing this, uh, working at the theater. Because it's like your weekend's kind of gone a little bit. When you work during the night, if any of you work during the night, uh, <clears throat> you know, you, you sleep in later and you get up and you're just kind of... Walking around like a zombie. I'm just like shuffling through the house, bumping into things, and I'm like, wake up, get yourself going. I am doing a little bit of laundry today. Did cook us a little bit of bread. Well, I heated up, toasted a bagel for breakfast. It's not like I slaved over the the, the wood stove like some of y'all are doing, <laughs> showing me up. I do love to cook. Just haven't had really enough time, but that's coming. Oh, that's coming. Christmas. Christmas time. We'll be feeding my family so well. And having a good old jolly Saint Nick time. But, um, tonight's the last night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, yeah, Sunday. <sighs> your days. I'm telling you, your days just like, where do they go? And, uh, going somewhere really cool tomorrow night. And that I haven't been in a while. And, um... And Christmas shopping with the Hubsters, with John, um, Monday, while the Muckus is at work. While the Muckus is at work! Bah! Child labor! I'm sending my kid to work! No, while she's at school. <laughs> See, this is what not much sleep does for you. And I'm the type, too. Like, I got my eight hours once we got home late in the night. And then, bing, I was like up after eight hours of sleep. Bing, rose up, shuffling around the house and stuff. And then I've just kind of went back in my chair here and there and dozing off, and which I'm going to do in just a little bit again and watching some movies and just, just relaxing so I'm not going to feel like I'm going to die tonight and pass out or something like that. So, excuse me. So that's just really what's going on today this day 16 and uh tomorrow and the rest of the time as we approach as we approach christmas time 
I'm so excited. Are you? Are you excited? Um, look at this dog. Let of course she stops around. when I get the camera turned around. I'm just on my phone and I can't turn it around regularly like some cameras do. Um, I have to stop it and flip it around. I don't have that option on the little Android. But that's okay. One day I'll get me a pretty good little camera. Maybe a GoPro. <laughs> a little tripod thing. You should see some of the things I prop my phone up on to film. It's pretty funny. But hey, I get it done. This is the backyard. All the little snow is gone that we had. Our little measly old snow. <coughs> it was good while it lasted. I'm sure there's going to be a little bit more to come later. Usually when we get it. Alright. I'm going to go back inside. Out of this cold. And I'm going to rest for a little bit more. Talk at you. In a little bit. In a little bit while. A little bit longer. We'll come back. What a little British on ya. Sometimes I like to talk in my British accent. I haven't done that in a while. Bonnie! Bonnie! What are you doing? Come inside for a spot of tea. Come on, Bonnie! Bonnie! <laughs> yeah, I'm not right. These leaves! <laughs> we still have the pumpkins! <laughs> this is the back porch, so... Nobody really sees it that much but us. But they do need to go. And the wind was really, really bad. And it blew all the leaves up to here and we just haven't had the time yet to get those up but we will we will we will be at the house a lot more here lately all right come on buddy let's go inside come on let's go Bonnie do, Bonnie do, Bonnie do, Bonnie, buddy. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. What a good girl. Jim's a good dog. Don't bother me, girl. Breakfast time. That right, Santa. That right, Bonnie. Breakfast time. She said, "Where's my breakfast? Where's it at? Which way did it go, George? Which way did it go?"
doing, Bonnie? Scratching? Bonnie. What's her doing? What's that noise? Some crazy kids screaming over there at the the road. <laughs> Here she comes. She's a good girl. Went inside, Roscoe. Too cold for you out here? Huh? Old fella? My old fella? to make a list for Monday when um, I go Christmas shopping. This TV may be too loud. So I will not forget anybody when we go shopping Monday. I always like to make lists. Then it's like another mental note for me when I write it down. And then I have something to refer to. Because sometimes I get into stores and I get distracted by shiny things. <clears throat> Am I the only one that does that when I see something? And then I'll be like, okay, why did I come in here for? Who am I buying for? What am I getting? Yeah, I'm one of those. So I have to have a list. And already in my mind, the type of things I may be looking for. I may not know the exact thing I'm looking for. But a general idea. So I'll be prepared. That's why I like to make lists. Just sitting in my living room. And, um. Tried to nap again. But. Not really a napper. <clears throat> I'm more of a. After I get my eight hours, I just kind of sit and relax. I may close my eyes for a little bit, but just can't totally fall back asleep again. So, because my mind, just a mind chatter, I guess I get sometimes when I have a bunch of things I want to do um, or get done. My mind won't let me rest. <clears throat> just spins on all the things I want to do and need to do. So... Write my list and um, so I'm making a list. Gonna check it twice. Gonna find out who to buy for. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm in like thinking mode of what I need to write down. All right, gonna write my list and. About it. I probably just guess. Well, it, it, it's like this. Blondie left the house at eight, and I was left with the house until now. So I suppose you had a dress code here, Pete Alexander. Lunch time. Ooh, steaming up my camera. Steamy potato soup. Me. Turn this down a little bit. Be good. Oh, perfect. At the theater, been here for maybe two hours or more. 
Sorry, I'm going through the wings. It's kind of dark. Uh, still got a little bit ways to go. It's taking just a little break. Step through all the piles. Piles of popcorn. That's what you get here at the theater. Is all that lovely popcorn. It's a trail. Popcorn that we sweep, well actually, we leaf blow out of the seats through here. And, uh, yeah, just here, I mean, before I know it, in just an hour or two, it will be Vlogmas Day 17 while I'm here. Should just keep the ball rolling. Be a marathon of endless vlogging today. Ah, I'm tired. I should have rested a little bit longer um, today. John did. He's the type who can sleep and sleep and sleep. Like he can get up, eat, and then like go right back. I cannot. I struggle with that. As a teenager now, I remember sleeping in till 2 in the afternoon or more. Not now. Now I cannot go back to sleep sometimes. But uh, this is the last night, so I'm going to make it count and uh, get her all nice and shiny and pretty for the shows tomorrow. And... Um, do some resting again tomorrow, and then going somewhere tomorrow night. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm about ready to uh, sweep the stage. Let me turn it around here. Yeah, in just a minute. I'm going to take the sweeper mop and go along this big old stage and get it all swept up. Along the, it's like Hansel and Gretel were here, <laughs> leaving their trail through the forest. Oh, that is. Then usually there's a lot more popcorn. Usually a whole bunch more, but uh, that's all that we got out of the seats tonight. Was that? There he is. Oh well. There's that. <laughs> and there was that. Things you can do at the theater at late at night when no one's here. Maybe we should tell you all those secrets. No. <laughs> One is belching as you go across the stage. I've done more than belching. But uh, that's another vlog for a whole nother day. But isn't it nice? Here's the big, when it's lit up, it's beautiful. The whole stage gets lit up. Lit up, lighted up. Oh, country talk, it gets lit up, y'all. <laughs> Real pretty. I love, didn't get to be on the show this year due to uh, scheduling situations that I had. But um, usually in this Christmas, show with several songs that I sing and um, it's just a really good show and other shows they do too I've been in other ones as well I just couldn't do it this Christmas season but I come and clean I can do that come and clean up can't stay away love the theater alright break time is over he's back at it vacuuming takes one person a while to uh, get all those done there was a spot on the floor or something might have to go do some extra scrubbing over it going through the backstage area it's a little dark right there oh 
That scares me every time. You know, when you're cleaning somewhere or, or you're by yourself in a big facility ever, it, um, you find out that a place makes so many noises. I remember when I used to clean for our church also, and I was there by myself lots of times, and it would be so creepy. Like when it's full of people and stuff, you never think of it. When you're by yourself, you're all of a sudden like, what was that? What was that noise? Who's there? Somebody there? You hear so many different things. You just have to say, no, it's just all this machinery and all these things and the ghosts that are just going to come up and take your soul. That's all. Nothing to worry about. No big deal. <laughs> but I'm going to get back to work. Still got a little bit to go. And then get home and um, go to sleep. So I'm going to end the vlog right here. And uh, I got hair all over my coat. Sorry, I'm so distracted. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the vlog right here. And I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. And I hope you all have a good night. You'll probably not see this until you've already had a good night. And um, we will convey tomorrow. All right, everybody. Take care. See you later. Quicken Loans is here to help you save your money. Why Quicken Loans? The home loan experts at Quicken Loans fully understand the hard guidelines. Well, under the specific circumstances, and strive to find the financial solution that is best for you. They will guide you through each step of the mortgage refinance process to make sure that it's both simple and easy. And for seven years in a row now, J.E. Power has ranked Quicken Loans highest in the nation in customer satisfaction for primary mortgage origination. And for the fourth year in a row, they've also ranked us highest in the nation for mortgage servicing. If you're not familiar with HARP, it's a U.S. government program designed specifically for homeowners who have little or no equity. A great feature of the HARP program is that most HARP refinance loans do not require an appraisal, and there are fewer income verification requirements. That makes it simpler, easier, and easier.